Hello and welcome. Today we have a look at Roborox FlexiArm design. Let's go. I am running the tested S8 Max V Ultra for a while now, and the corner detection of the FlexiArm mechanism was working mediocre since it sometimes does some false detections or was engaged too late or too early. As aspected the whole mechanism is a sweeping one so debris get cluttered into the cleaning area to be vacuumed up that is suboptimal for dust-like stuff. But something I was really interested in is the impact of the extending arm to the overall cleaning performance. So I applied a small film of certified test dust on the floor and filmed the cleaning pass with 240 frames per second to have some slow motion footage. As we can see there is a negative effect of the extending side brush arm since the side brush also stops spinning for a while. The red marked area was totally uncleaned by the robot leaving this thin film of dust. A second pass without the usage of the flexi arm mechanism showed that the robot was able to sweep up the red marked area but as we can see there is also a bigger blind spot of an uncleaned area. There are most always the same particle patterns viewable after the two cleaning runs in the yellow marked area. The extending attribute of the mechanism is not the only downside, there is also a unique design change we will have a look at soon that is suboptimal and I am pretty sure responsible for the not so good cleaning performance. And yes, the mopping system might clean the dusty leftovers but we will also see later on that this may not always be the case. But as we already saw, Mopping is a must with this robot since its sweeping and vacuuming performance delivers uncleaned areas in its driving pattern. So let's have a more detailed look at the FlexiArm design using some slow motion footage again to investigate the issue. The footage is cut down to the important parts. The first thing I noticed is that with the arm extended only the front moving side brush arms are fully touching the surface, while the sidewards moving arms are only tipping the floor not making full contact with it. The backwards moving side brush arms are totally lifted and not touching the ground. This is due to the fact that while the arm extends, it got also lifted up a little bit. If you watch closely you can see that at the start of the retraction of the arm it got lowered again to be moved to the robot. The backwards moving side brush arms are also making no contact to the ground if the flexi arm is not used. I am not aware of any robot using this kind of design. My suggestion is that this is to somewhat reduce friction to prevent side brush stalling while using the flexi arm, but I am pretty sure that this is causing the shown cleaning issues. Ironically, this is also causing some stalling problems depending on your floor or furniture layout since the side brush is coming from a higher leveled angle that can cause more friction or stucking from your furniture and resulting in a side brush stalling affecting the corner cleaning performance in a negative way. The reason why I was mentioning that the mopping will not always be able to remove the leftovers is something I noticed later on by reviewing some of my testing footage I did with several debris types and floorings. The viewable debris blowing by the exhaust of the robot is also to mention and something for another video. As we can see due to the flexi arm design there is an red mark not fully cleaned area where the side brush moves over but due to the shown fact that the sidewards moving arms are only tipping the surface the debris is not being removed. This uncleaned area is in a spot that neither the edge cleaning mop nor the main mopping part are able to reach so the area stays uncleaned. Some other thing to mention is that if the edge cleaning side mop is lifted while using vacuuming only mode, this mop can cause water stains on your furniture if you use it right after a mopping session or after the mops just got cleaned. In my opinion an annoying thing or design flaw. So what can Roborock do to at least improve the flexi arm cleaning performance? 
In my opinion they should use the flexi arm and the non flexi arm mode in combination by using the flexi arm to run into a corner first, then let the robot drive backwards to use the no flexi arm mode to drive into the corner again. This may not improve the blind spot issue but at least clean the extraction area in one run. So overall a not very well performance in my opinion, but if you are still interested in buying this robot or maybe want to upgrade from AS71, you maybe want to wait for my next testing video about the S8 Max V Ultra, including some carpet and hard floor tests. Spoiler, the S8 is a downgrade to AS7 regarding cleaning performance. Thanks for watching and if you find this somewhat interesting and helpful, please consider a subscription. Thanks. Bye.